It's a lovely day. I'm glad you came. To be honest, you're better company than most of the guys. <laughs> most? Well, a couple of them are brilliant at bridge. Yes, I never could get into that. Darling, I've just had word from Mummy. Oh? She's gotten home from Europe and wants to come here for a visit to spend some time with Charlotte. She'll be staying with us then. Naturally. That should be fine. She also said that, well, Desiree wants terribly to come along. Ah. Uh -uh. The thing you have to know about Desiree is that she will get what she wants. She cannot take no for an answer, which is precisely what occurred when Vivian walked in on us a week before our wedding. I truly tried to stave the girl off, but she practically threw herself at me. I, I, I <clears throat> shudder to think of it even now. Do you think it will be alright? I do hate to keep putting off her requests for a visit. It seems ugly. I really think that would be up to you. If you're alright with it, then we'll manage. She is your sister. Indeed. Winston, you old codger, it's good to see you. Vivian, always a pleasure. So happy you could join us, Joel. Hello, Kim. Hello. I hope you don't mind I took the liberty of ordering a Sauvignon Blanc and some prawns to start us off. They call them shrimp here, remember? You know, Kim and I were just talking about that the other day. So how's the fashion line going, Vivian? Keeping you busy? Oh my, yes. There's always something to do. You don't realize when you start out what a massive undertaking it is. You ever decide to go public, just let me know. Oh, we will. Okay. Here's the wine. Would you like me to pour it for you? Uh, no, thank you. I'll do that. I say, pardon the question, miss, but do I know you from somewhere? No, sir, I don't think so. The shrimp will be out in just a minute. Hmm, she looked dreadfully familiar. Is everyone having wine? Of course. Yes, please. God knows I am. My mother and sister are coming to visit. Mmm. Oh, no. Well, happy two-year anniversary. And happy anniversary to you. This is really nice. I love this place. I don't know what half of the words on the menu mean, but it all sounds delicious. You should try reading Latin. I don't know why medical terminology has to be derived from such an archaic language. Yeah, me neither. <clears throat> so, while we're waiting on the food to come out, I wanted to discuss something with you. Okay. We've come a long way, you know, and we've been dating for two years now, and I think it's time to take the next step. You do? Absolutely. I'm glad you're smiling. Of course I'm smiling. Here goes. I think we should start a business together. What? Our 
Obviously you know I'm passionate about action figures. You've seen my collection. Yeah, I've seen it. And you know that 3D printing is the future of consumables, right? So I am envisioning an action figure company that utilizes 3D printers to create highly customizable, personalized figurines. I can't even... I think Joel will be willing to help us out with the initial investment. What do you think? Are you serious? You're not smiling. I can't believe that's what you brought me here to talk about. Starting a toy company? Seriously? You, you don't think it's a good idea? No, I don't think it's a good idea. I have thousands of dollars of student loans to pay off, and we barely make enough to pay the bills. I think we can... No, stop talking. I am going to be a doctor, Chris, a medical professional, and your dream is to sell action figures? Well, I hope they keep you company because I can't do this anymore. This is a complete waste of time. Wait, Meg, where are you going? I thought you were going to propose. Wait, what? I'm home. Hey, Susie's down for her nap. Any trouble? No, all good. I was just working on my homework. Need any help? Yeah, I really do. Let me make us a snack, then I'll take a look. I'll be the first one to tell you that I don't have smarts. Never have. I try, but now that I'm a senior, all my classes are so hard. I mean, I know basic stuff like London is the capital of England, Rome is the capital of Italy, and Paris is the capital of fashion, but I especially can't do math and science and English. And I don't really like history. I guess my favorite class is art, cause I'm pretty good at painting. Teacher says I got natural talent with a paintbrush. Who knows, maybe I can be a famous artist one day. You don't understand the difference between nuclear fission and fusion? Are you saying different words? Yes, fission and fusion. Fission is when atoms split apart, and fusion is when they come together. But what does it have to do with fish? Huh? You keep saying fission. No, hun, not fission. Fission. don't get it. Oh, fish sticks, will you just read this paragraph? Okay. Are you sure you want all your fries? Yes. What do you think is taking Kenny so long? I don't know. I told him not to go out there. Those guys looked like bad news. He's been hanging around with them more and more lately, and I don't like it. My dad used to say, the company you keep says more about you than you do. Uh-huh. Oh my god! Oh no! What happened? Are you okay? Relax, ladies, I'm fine. What is going on? Nothing, babe. Just working on my street cred. That is not funny, Kenny. You could have really gotten hurt. Nah, it's all good. No, it's not. 
for once I agree with Erin. And that's really saying something. I don't think you should hang around with those guys anymore. Business is all about connection, Flex. You know I gotta be networking. Now come on, let's go. <sighs> Fine, but we are talking about this later. Nothing to talk about. <laughs>